We've been one week on the boat now, and that gave us a really good understanding of what's needed, what we might need to improve. Generally, you have to say like, we could be keep going like this. It's really amazing. But since we need the computers and the Starlink and downloading the files, we do need more power. So I brought lithium batteries. I'm gonna build a little lithium battery bank and this wind generator. We're gonna install this here. I, I brought the different components. I need to buy a few additional poles so that I can give it more stability because I know that I've been out when it's blowing 60 or, or even more and it just everything starts shaking so I want to reinforce it. I'm going to run to the hardware store and get some of the missing parts. So I was able to get some of the parts I needed. Two aluminum pipes so that I can reinforce the main pillar for the wind turbine and then I got some hose clamps and this is what I brought from my other rigging kit from Anchorage. So that's going to be really helpful, this piece. Anyway, I'm going to start to just putting it on there and improvise at the beginning just to get it in the right spot. And then we can tighten it down with the hose clamps and these other, other clamps that I have. So this wind generator comes with these stainless steel tubes. And that's the main pillar. Okay. All right, this is tight. Now I can wiggle it through there. Don't want to hit the window. Okay. I'm gonna just lean this here for a moment. Okay. This is aluminum and this is stainless steel, so there's less corrosion going on. Okay. So hopefully that it will just be enough of an angle. Don't lose it, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> the only one you have. Yeah, it came a long way. So now in that direction, it's already very stable. Now I just get a, one more from this direction. I'd like to maybe bring this a little bit above because they're screwed together right here. So if I get a little bit more, maybe I get one more tube that goes a little higher. But I'm going to test out the other one first. I might not need all that much, but maybe just a, another inch. That angle might still be okay. So maybe I'll just try that right away. So I'm just gonna put these in this bicycle tube like this so that I'm not gonna get these two dissimilar metals on top of each other. Oh, should we buy another one that's like smaller? So we don't have to... No, I think it's okay, we can just use the one. Yeah, that's already pretty solid, I think. This thing is shaking when I'm shaking this, so... Now we're ready to assemble the wind generator, which I have in here, and we'll be done in a little bit. Yes! Here we go, look at that. So this is where I have to still put the cables together. Pulling this off. I have to be very careful with the copper on an aluminum boat. Okay, so now this is a smaller end than this. I'm gonna put this in here all the way. Okay, now they're both in. Now I have to crimp them. But what I'm doing right now is I'm heat shrinking 
this connector right now. Go. Uh, my dad just told me that I should put some electrical tape around here so this doesn't corrode. So that's what I'm going to do now. There we go. I wonder what he's trying to get. I wonder to just let's be quiet. Oh, there's there's two? There's three. All right, of course it started raining now, Southeast Alaska. But we have to feed the cable through this pole and then get it inside the cabin so we can connect the charge controller. Where these two poles go connect together and they're screwed together, there's like a larger lip in there and the cable still want to go by there. So we might have to drop something with a lead, like a line through there that we can pull use the line as a messenger and pull the cable through there because it, as long as I'm trying like this, it just doesn't want to go past that. So Nanook uh, found something that might work quite well to get mm -hmm. the, a messenger line through there. So this is a halibut um, or just like a lead weight and then I just attach it to a cord and a slip knot. Now we'll be able to use this as a messenger. You want to climb up there? Yep, I will. So now we covered this with tape and we have the good knot in there and now I think we'll be able to send it down. All right, that was I think the last one. Oh yeah, I already got it. All right, we did it. Oh, my hands are so cold. You got cold hands, huh? Well, you're gonna have to get a little bit more Alaska tough now. Now, Alaska, you're so mean. Yeah, well, you fingers are like twice as big. <laughs> All right, I know I have a little bit sausage fingers. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Ah. Oh, those are neat. Yeah, these are the blades. If you look around the boat right now, it's a big mess. We had to pull out all the food and everything because we have to put in an extra battery bank. And then also with the wind generator, we have to install fuses, the wiring, battery connections. So take a look around down here and everywhere. I'm glad mom's not here right now because it doesn't look very good if you take a look around. All right, that's done. Good job, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Getting closer. In order for me to connect the actual wind turbine with the charge controller, it's really essential that the battery is connected first to the charge controller for the lithium batteries. But that needs a breaker, so that's what I'm installing right now, a 50 amp breaker, so that then we can connect the wind turbine with the charge controller and the batteries and everything is set. So when you look, from the alternator and the starter battery, I'm getting power that comes to this Orion smart charger from DC DC. So when we're motoring, this will charge the batteries. And if we're on anchor and the wind turbine is running, we're going through this fuse and that will charge the batteries with the other 
lithium charger that we have connected to the to the wind turbine so now we have all the fuses installed that are necessary the last thing still will be the inverter i'm going to be able to then run the system like our starlink and our our charging our laptop now that i've installed the 50 amp fuse for the wind turbine i can now connect it the charge controller to the battery i'm just gonna do that now and then in a moment i can show you up there the lithium battery charge controller from the wind turbine the really important thing about this is that we first connect the batteries before we actually connect the wind turbine because if the wind turbine starts spinning like crazy and it puts out a lot of uh, very high voltage and it's not connected to the battery it can destroy the controller the charge controller okay so now here i have the wind charge controller is actually wind and solar but the solar is already hooked up with a different charger but with this now i can you know see once we have wind how much wind and how much amp we're getting in here so this is all set up now and now we can go outside and and actually install the wind turbine Everything set? Yep. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks, Nanook, for helping me with this. Yeah. It's so welcome. nice that now we'll be able to generate some power, even if we don't have any sun when we're on anchor for several days and the engine is not running. So, yeah, we're really excited about that. It's a really very quiet wind generator, also when it's running, not only when it's just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be a really, really nice thing to have on a boat. Yeah, just as we walked away, it started running, so yeah. it's working. There you did okay, it. Okay, cool. Woo!